Hey, what's up Homestead Homies? It's Off Grid with Doug and Stacy, and I'm Doug. And today we're going to talk about two tips for beginner beekeepers. Alright guys, so this is a quick video because sometimes, you know, you think, I'm, I, here's the deal. When I'm out here, I'm thinking, do they want to see this kind of video? I mean, it's it's like... You don't know if it's going to be valuable or if most people got it figured out. But um, I'm dropping these videos off, especially like this one, because I've seen people do the complete opposite and I want to help you guys out if you're a new beekeeper. And by no means am I an expert and yes, there's tons of other YouTube channels that can talk about it. So that's why um, I don't focus a lot on our bees right there we have we keep four hives we don't do a lot of our gardening stuff because ever, there's so many videos on youtube um about gardening and bees and stuff but we just want to try to give you the basic ideas so uh, when you watch maybe another channel because they're more advanced or whatever they might not cover these kind of issues so i'm just gonna keep trying to drop them off and trying to help you guys out i mean if that makes any sense <laughs> All right, so this is your hood uh, for beekeeping. You know, it just keeps the bees out of your mouth and out of your ears. No big deal. Sometimes I wear it, sometimes I don't. But there's a long string that comes with this um, hood, okay? Because, you know, it like attaches to a fancy bee suit you might have seen on other people's channels uh, where it's like a head to toe, like uh, space outfit or, you know, radiation suit. Um, but this string, if you just wrap it around your body right here, and then you tie it up into this loop, is all I do, and then I just tie it in a little bowl. That just keeps you from walking on it, from it getting in the way. When you bend over, you'll step on it and it'll pull your face down and stuff like that. So just, just wrap this around you. I've seen people that keep bees and they didn't even really kind of know what to do with the string. So just, just kind of tie it up through this loop and get it out of your way. Now the second thing I want to talk about is, you can see right there, that those are the beehives, okay? So they're kind of getting grown up with the weeds and everything, okay? Bees are very sensitive to vibration. Um, so uh, I've seen some people go out to their beehives and just bring the weed whack with them, the you know gas-powered weed trimmer, weed whack, whatever you call it, and you know blast all around the beehive. And you know, of course, they're wearing like full suit and everything else, but then they're wondering. Well, you know, why is everybody so excited, right? So they're very sensitive to vibration. So all you have to do is keep it simple. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to bring you guys with me uh, with these shears. And I'm going to cut that um, those weeds down in front of my hive. Um, and they're not going to be upset about it. And it's just better shalom for everybody, more peace. Um, it's quieter for me. And for them, um, it won't disturb them. So let's go and I'll show you how we do it. See, no one's getting upset. The hives aren't getting upset. We're getting everything kind of cleaned up. Just makes it easier for them to get in and out. It also allows for the uh, 
for the breeze a little bit. You know, if you have it all blocked up, it's going to be a little harder to get some airflow. So it's early in the morning right now, and they're bringing in pollen already. I can see some on their legs. Hives are doing really good, and we'll be harvesting some uh, honey, and we'll be doing videos on that. Show you guys how we do that. So see, it's just, it's just a nice, quiet, easy way to uh, maintain your area and keep everybody happy. All right, so that's it. Just use your uh, hand snippers. You saw how easy that went. No one was disturbed and upset. I wasn't being chased out of there by the bees. Um, it's a very quiet way to get it done, no vibration. And they appreciate it. It allows more wind to pass through uh, the hives so it keeps them a little cooler than to have a bunch of grass and weeds and stuff growing up, then it, it blocks the wind. So you want happy bees. Our bees are doing really good. Um, we're gonna be doing some videos coming up um, about harvest and the honey and how we do it here at the off-grid homestead and uh, That's it. So we we hope you guys enjoyed this quick tip today um, It's just a little something to help out like new uh, beekeepers and Maybe some older beekeepers not like you know old-school beekeepers But somebody maybe has been doing bees for a year or two and never really thought about it So I don't know like I said we try to drop off videos um, that are gonna help you guys out and sometimes you don't know um, if you should or you shouldn't so this right here could save you a lot of headache and it's easy to do as you can see Now we have four clean hives ready to produce more honey. This is off grid with Doug and Stacy I'm Doug and we'll see you guys on the next episode Okay guys, so I went and got a funnel Which I didn't have out for my next one when I fill up But what's so neat about this is a lot of times when you ferment